it's hot as fuck. Anyway, welcome. Today I'm doing the mid-year book freakout tag because it is currently the 26th of June and that means that we're almost, well we're pro basically halfway through the year so I figured why not, you know? So let's just get into it. Let's do it. First question, best book you've read so far in 2020? I'm going to go with The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Song of Achilles is about Achilles and Patrocles. It is told from Patrocles' perspective and it is about their love blossoming and then the story of the Trojan War. And it's so beautifully written and it's like such a good modern retelling. I can't believe it took me this long to pick it up. Very, very sad that it took me so long, but very happy that I finally ended up picking it up. I love it and it's beautiful. It's beautifully written and it really got me into like Greek mythology again. And I love it and can't wait to read it again and annotate this old baby. Best sequel you've read so far? I have read three sequels. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Lumberjanes Volume 2, 3, and 4, Case Closed Volume 2, 3, and 4 as well. I think I'm gonna go, have to go with Lumberjanes because the Case Closed sequels were rewrites for me and Chamber of Secrets really isn't that good. But Lumberjanes is a comic about a scout camp, like a scout summer camp, and there's this group of girls who get into all sorts of trouble, like mystical trouble, like it's a fantasy. Their scout mission is sort of to figure out how to handle all these things. And it's very cute and it's a, an easy read and it's just like a feel good thing. So definitely, definitely recommend Lumberjanes by Noel Stevenson. If you have Kindle Unlimited, they are on there. A new release you want to read but haven't yet. Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acovado. I'm very excited to read this. It's in the mail currently being shipped to my house right now. I don't know what Clap When You Land is fully about, but I really want to read it. Let's just read the blurb. Camino Rios <laughs> lives for the summers when her father visits her in the Dominican Republic. But this time, on the day when he's supposed to land, Camino arrives at the airport to see crowds of crying people. In New York City, Yahara Rios is called to the principal's office where her mother is waiting to tell her that her father, her hero, has died in a plane crash. Separated by distance and Poppy's secrets, the two girls are forced to face a new reality in which their father is dead and their lives are forever altered. And then, when it seems like they've lost everything of their father, they learn of each other. Sounds absolutely wonderful and I think it's gonna be a really good read. The next question is the most anticipated releases for the next half of the year. I am so excited, and this is so embarrassing, but I am so excited for Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. Like, I cannot contain my excitement about this. 14 year old me, fully alive. I think my biggest disappointment is going to go to Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I read this for class, and it was kind of hyped to me as like this like feminist retelling of like, a fairy tale or like a fairy tale esque thing, and I just didn't like it. I also felt like the feminism felt fell so fucking flat. I didn't like the protagonist. I just didn't like the book. Biggest surprise, which 100% absolutely will go to Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. The reason why it goes to Vladimir Nabokov and Lolita is because I expected to hate it. And I didn't. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's creepy. It's very gross. It made me very uncomfortable for most of the time. That being said, it was really good. Next up is favorite new author. And for that, I have to go with Madeline Miller. I'm currently halfway through Cersei. She's incredible at writing. Newest fictional crush. I don't know. I don't really know if I get crushes, but I'm gonna go with Cersei. This woman is a queen. This goddess. Yes. Next. We have newest favorite character. I don't fucking know, I don't think about this shit. Okay, I'm going to go with like a refound favorite character and it is Conan from Case Closed. He's the main character, or it's like the cover name of the main character. Next question is a book that made you cry. Oh, okay, my answer for this is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. I cried a little bit. It wasn't like full on sobbing, which I did with Song of Achilles, but Giovanni's Room just hit me a little bit differently, you know? A book that made you happy. I don't know. 
I'm going to go with Funny You Don't Look Autistic by Michael McCreary and the only reason why is because it's a really funny memoir. And the next one is The Most Beautiful Book You Have Received or Bought This Year. I think so. I'm going to go with Song of Achilles maybe. I think it's beautiful. But I also have a bunch of like, like a bunch of the war like the Oxford Shakespeare world classics and I love them. Uh, this is Taming of the Shrew, the only one that I brought with me. I think as a collection I really like them. I feel like I don't really buy pretty books anymore. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? Boy do I have a list for you. First I'm gonna go through the books that I actually have with me. I need to finish Circe. I want to read Great Expectations by Charles Dickens before the summer because then I don't need to bring it to uni. The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. No Logo by Naomi Klein. And here here are all the lists of the books that I don't have with me. I feel like I have quite an extensive one. Obviously, Clap When You Land. I really want to read Kick the Moon by Muhammad Khan. I also want to read Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I want to read A Place for Us by Fatima Farine Mirza. I want to read Their Eyes Were Watching God by Sora Neale Hurston. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Sustaina Cart. I want to read The Well of Loneliness by Radcliffe Hall. I'm going to read a lot of Shakespeare as well. Um, Tammy of the Shrew, Merchant of Venice, Romeo and Juliet. I have some other. I want to read Why Dust Shall Never Settle Upon the Soul by Rika Aoki. I want to reread The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer before Midnight Sun comes out. I want to read Slay by Brittany Morris, Orlando by Virginia Woolf, Maurice by E.M. Forster, and A Single Man by Christopher Isherwood, All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson, Kindred by Octavia E. Butler, the graphic novel edition, Men We Read by Jasmine Ward, and finally I want to continue on with both Case Closed and Lumberjanes. And then favorite book community member. I really enjoy Bookish Realm lately. I also recently subscribed to Fictional Fate. That was my mid-year book freakout tag. I hope to get way more videos to you guys in the next half year. I am planning, I'm filming, I am doing the best I can, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!